Now, there is a Tesla video that surfaced the streets of social media yesterday of Tesla cars apparently driving themselves, going in the highways, in the roads, and this Tesla confirmed that from the 28th of June, the cars that their, uh, their customers buy will autonomously deliver themselves to their houses as of the 28th. This is the video that I'm playing for you on the screen there. This is the video. This is the video I'm playing on the screen there. As you would see that these cars are literally driving themselves. And on the 28th of June, Tesla <laughs> Model 3 cars will be delivering themselves to those that place their orders and have paid, right? Now, this reminded me of uh, where Neo is at. I mean, kudos to Tesla. Tesla is doing so well with their autonomous driving, right? And this, our very own Neo, you know that at the end of May, they launched the new Neo World model, a driving feature, autonomous driving feature, which was able to drive itself or allow the Neo car to drive itself uh, for about or almost 40 kilometers but that is not yet full autonomous driving and uh, neo is still pushing getting there i mean a lot of the people that have gotten this update onto their neo cars they've given some very good positive uh, comments about the neo world model feature not only is that feature assisting or will it be assisting you when it comes to driving but should you sleep in the car right the car drives itself out and therefore adding a safety feature or a safety measure onto that uh, uh, Neo World model feature, overall feature, right? So this is, this is where Neo is currently sitting at and seeing it, seeing Tesla going to the next level, I think it will also put more pressure to, of course, our very own Neo and the other new energy vehicle companies globally. Because if what Tesla is saying happens on the 28th where people that place their orders, are, the, the cars are going to drive, themselves to their homes then it's going to be uh, i think a serious pressure to our very own neo so kudos to tesla kudos to what their self-driving or fsd was able to of course do or they were able to achieve with this new feature hopefully we get to see neo cars also uh, maybe taking it to the next step and we get to see neo cars going to battery shopping stations and complete battery shopping by themselves without the users. I think that will be the end game for Neo, right? That will be even much better than the F FSD because yes, Neo cars drive themselves. I mean, already uh, Neo cars from the factory, we saw quite a number of videos, Neo cars, Envo cars, straight from the factory driving themselves out to the parking bay or parking lot outside the factory. We have seen that. But we, what we have not seen is the Neo car driving itself out in the streets with no one in the front seat. We have not seen that out the streets as yet. Yes, we have seen Neo car assisting the driver um, with uh, for almost 40 kilometers, the car driving itself, which was so great. But the next step, I think, is to is to take it to a point where there's no person, there's no one on the driver's seat, people are at the back seat or maybe one or two people are at the back seat and the car is just taking them to a destination. That's where Neo now, Neo now needs to take it. They've demonstrated it in their factory, but they need to demonstrate it outside to say that this is the level they are sitting at. And when they get to that, it's light out. You will know that most of the cars, right? Um, your Neo, Xpeng, Leoro, Xiaomi, most of them, they are currently on level 3 autonomous driving. When it comes to autonomous driving, full autonomous driving is uh, it's achieved uh, on level 4. And we're not sure if, uh, but I think Tesla has done it, right? I think, let's be fair, Tesla has done it, but let's wait, let's see on the 28th to, to get the final confirmation of this feature that we'll be able to make the Tesla cars drive themselves to the people that ordered their customers or, or to their homes, which will be so great. So I look forward to where Neo is going. I look forward to a new energy vehicle car makers in China responding based on the video we saw yesterday to say what is their next move. Because 
the fact that Tesla was able to do this, it puts more pressure to EV makers like Neo to also follow suit because this is the end game, right? Autonomous driving is the end game. I mean, I said that I would, uh, I would really like to one day drive a car, uh, or, or own a car rather that drives itself. And I'm at the back seat. I've got my desk. I'm working while the car is driving me to a destination. I would like to own a car like that. And it looks like that time where we start to see cars driving themselves without a driver at at the at the front seat are almost here. That feature it's very very close to be added to the cars and like I said and like what I've been saying some of the EV car makers that are going to be the first to achieve this is number one Tesla, Neo, Xpeng, Leoro because these are the companies or car companies that are investing a lot into R&Ds. Neo especially you will know that they've got their own autonomous driving chip Shenji NX9031 chip which is able to help them or enhance the autonomous driving uh, onto that car so it's going to be interesting to see what happens next i mean xpeng also launched their g7 that comes with their autonomous driving chip built in-house which speaks volumes of where china is headed that is the reason that i say uh, some of the cars that are going to crack this code first it has to be of course tesla neo and xpeng because these three these three especially with our very old Neo and Xpeng. They are using their own chips, which is, in terms of performance, it's better than the chips that they were using getting from NVIDIA, right? This is what we know. But anyways, me, I just thought I'd come and give you this quick update. Tell me what you think about this. Blue sky is coming, long term will win. Those that are persevering throughout the headwinds, the share price, will most definitely be rewarded with time. It takes me some time to make these videos. And all I ask from you, is to give it a thumbs up that so that it can get to be spread out to as many people as possible like share subscribe otherwise that's all from me and god bless you